Yo guys, what's up? It's Washburn. I've got a Crisis 3 multiplayer gameplay for you guys today. Playing some free for all, actually. It's called Deathmatch in Crisis 3. Usually called Instant Action in all the other Crisis games. Not sure why they changed it for Crisis 3, but there it is. They've also reduced the score limit down to 25 kills, so we're going to be wrapping this one up pretty quickly. Maybe if they'd kept out the 30 minutes, my free for all gameplay commentaries might actually be over 5 minutes long, but we're just going to go ahead with this one. And straight away at the start of the match, everyone just seems to rush straight into each other and jumping in people's faces, going mental, especially on this map. This map is a really, really small map. It kind of reminds me of Skyline. Maybe that's why I'm having so much fun on it. All those close quarter engagements. My first impressions of this map weren't so great. Like when I first jumped into the map, I was like, oh my god, there's spawn points everywhere. And uh, there's so many obstacles. You can go like, there's seven different levels of vertical gameplay in this map. But I, uh, I'm definitely loving it now. We played it in the, the Capture the Relay tournament and... Yeah, that helped me get used to this map pretty quickly, playing against good players. Basically, noobs just get destroyed on this map now. I know where I'm going. <laughs> uh, got my rocket launcher in this class. Uh, I would definitely recommend the rocket launcher to anyone, as opposed to frag grenades. Flashbangs are also very effective, especially in competitive play. I've not actually been using the EMP grenades, if you remember from my beta feedback. Uh, sort of stuff I recommended EMP grenades to everyone to counter auto armor. I haven't actually tried them out yet. I've been very busy using the, using the rocket launcher and the flashbangs, so maybe I'll give the EMP grenades another try later on. But this is my new class, basically after my commentary yesterday where I was saying uh, stealth isn't like it was in Crisis 2, you can't really rush around and uh, be constantly in stealth all the time. So straight after this commentary I opened up Crisis 3 and I created a class called Stealth Rusher. Uh, this is my Stealth Rusher class basically. Feline with Silencer, Maneuverability and Phantom. Phantom is for faster transition into Stealth. I haven't leveled it up yet. Looking forward to leveling up so that my Stealth Energy recharges faster I believe I think is what it is on level 3. Pretty hard perk to level up however. Um, but yeah I feel like the Feline isn't that great a weapon to be honest in Crisis 3. The Scar overpowers it in every single situation. I actually feel like uh, the feline is meant to be sort of a close range submachine gun type weapon. I feel like the SCAR is actually better at close range engagements than the feline is and the SCAR is pretty effective at long range as well. Uh, so what I did to counter with this was that basically I put a silencer on my feline and I also equipped the rapid fire suit module. Finally got my rapid fire leveled up to the maximum level so that's 25% increased fire rate and uh, basically firing out those bullets pretty quickly for my feline for increased damage output. Not It doesn't increase my damage, just increase the, the rate of damage that I am dealing basically, uh, which is pretty cool. And the silencer, um, I wasn't having much luck with the feline, so I tried out the silencer and I've actually been enjoying the silencer on it quite a bit. It's lots of fun to use, uh, people can't see you on the radar and it doesn't seem to drop too much damage at really close range. Obviously, at, like distances over 10 meters, I feel like my feline does absolutely no damage at all. I think there might be a part coming up here where I try and shoot a guy who's like Maybe maybe like 10 meters away from me and <laughs> I, I can't kill him like full clip straight into his chest Doesn't do anything but at close range uh, Which is where I want to be in with this sort of class setup I'm going to be doing a lot of damage Still I'm not going to say that this is the most effective way to play the game Any player who's got a slight bit of skill and who is slightly better than your average player at seeing stealth enemies Is going to absolutely destroy this class Stealth is still pretty easy to see in Crisis 3 in my opinion You've got that red glow and Red is sometimes on some maps a very easy, a very easy color to see. So your stealth rusher classes are going to get dominated pretty often. You have to play pretty strategically and like think that those guys can't see you on the radar. Maybe you might want to take that suit module which hides you from the enemy radar. Uh, but I mean, it's hard to choose between maneuverability and you kind of want rapid fire for that increased damage output. Uh, Phantom. I'm trying to level up Phantom to see how useful it is on level 3. If it's not any use, maybe I'll switch out that suit module. One other thing I like to do is, uh, on slightly larger maps, maybe something like Central Cavern, I will put an Assault Scope on my feline class. I feel like, I know it's a submachine gun, putting a scope on it, not the best idea, but it still seems to work pretty effectively, and it helps deal with those guys at sort of medium range as well. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay, and uh, I'll see all you stealth rushers around in the multiplayer. <laughs>